got some parametric equations here. So uh, our parametric equations are x r t uh, multiplied by t uh, subtract 1 and y is equal to 4t divided by 1 subtract t. We're told that t can't be equal to 1. We're asked to find dy by dx in terms of t. Okay, let's have a go. Uh, that's quite easy. The next part, we're asked, the point P is on the curve where T is negative 1. Show the tangent at P has this equation. And the tangent uh, to the curve at P meets the curve again at Q. Find the coordinates of Q. Okay, right. This is a standard question. Let's give it a go. Firstly, we're going to use, obviously, for this, the chain rule, namely dy by dx is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So let's go away and work out each of these. Now, dy by dt, how are we going to work that out? Well, this is, uh, sorry, firstly, to work out dy by dt, let's write what y is. y is 4t over 1 subtract t. Okay, I'm going to have to use the quotient rule here because we've got a, a division. So that's my u, that's my v. And I'm going to use the formula that dy by dt is going to be equal to vu dashed minus uv dashed over v squared. Okay, so what are my u and my v? Well, my u is 4t, so my u dashed is 4, and my v is 1 subtract t, so my v dashed is negative 1. So let's apply this formula. dy by dt is therefore vu dashed, which is these two multiplied together, so 4, 1 subtract t. Take away <coughs> the answer when these two are multiplied together, namely 4t. All over v squared, which is 1 subtract t all squared. Tidying this up, dy by dt, you're going to get 4 subtract 4t plus 4t. You're going to get 4 over 1 subtract t squared. <coughs> and that's my dy by dt. Now let's go for dx by dt. x is equal to uh, t, t minus 1. The easiest way to write that is t squared minus t to make the differentiation easier dx by dt is therefore 2t subtract 1. So dy by dx is therefore this 4 over 1 subtract t squared divided by this, which is the same as multiply by its reciprocal. So therefore dy by dx is going to equal to 4 over 2t subtract 1 1 subtract t all squared. And we've done for dy by dx in that part. There's our dy by dx done. Now let's obviously keep this with us. This is going to be important in the later questions. So there's my dy by dx. Let's take a photo of that. And move on to part b. It says, show that the tangent to the curve at at P has equation follows. Now, sorry, there's a bit missing out here. It tells us that P is a point where T is negative 1. So I've miscut out a bit there. T is equal to negative 1 at P. Okay, so firstly, if we want to find the equation of a tangent, we need the gradient and we need two points. So when T is equal to negative 1, let's work out X and Y to start with. X is going to be equal to its T t minus 1. So negative 1 multiplied by negative 2. x is going to be equal to 2. And y is 4t over 1 subtract t. So y is going to be 4 times negative 1 over 1 subtract t. So it's going to be 1 subtract negative 1, which is going to be negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. So at t is negative 1, we've got the coordinates 2, negative 2. Now let's work out the gradient. dy by dx, when t is equal to negative 1, we're going to substitute that in there. It's 4 over. Uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Take away another 1 is negative 3. And then 1 subtract negative 1 is 1 plus 1 squared. So it would be 2 squared. And we're going to get as the answer for that negative a third. Now we want the gradient of the, the equation of the tangent, so we've got everything we need now. Let's use um, y minus y1 is mx minus x1. So therefore y subtract negative 2 
is going to be equal to negative a third x subtract 2. Why don't we multiply everything by 3? Uh, so tidy up here, that's y plus 2 is negative a third x subtract 2 times by 3. 3y three plus 6 is going to be negative x plus 2. And then add x to both sides, we'd have x plus 3y. Take away, uh, sorry, and take away the 2 from both sides as well. We'd have x plus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0, which is just what they require in the question. So we're done. Okay, the last part, we're told that this, obviously now we've shown that this is the equation of the tangent, and we're, we're told that this meets the curve again at point Q, find the coordinates of Q. Now on the one hand, for uh, at, at Q, the following must be true. This equation must hold, but also the equation of the curve must hold. Okay, the equation of the curve must hold as well. And the equation of the curve is that x is equal to t, t subtract 1, and y is equal to 4t over 1 subtract t, 4t over 1 subtract t. So this must hold, and this must hold together. So if we substituted our t's into this equation and solve for t, it would tell us what t makes both of these true at the same time, and we can use that to find the coordinates. So substituting in, so I might call this equation 1, and I might call this 2 and 3. I am going to sub 2 and 3 into equation 1. And let's write down what we get. So x is, I'm going to write this straight away as t squared subtract t, plus 3 times this, which is going to be 12t over 1 subtract t, plus 4 equals 0. Now this is just an algebra game to try and tidy this up. Let's multiply everything by 1 subtract t. Okay, let's multiply everything by 1 subtract t. So we're going to have t squared, 1 subtract t, subtract t, 1 subtract t, plus 12t, plus 4, 1 subtract t, equals 0. Now let's expand. We're going to have t squared, subtract t cubed, subtract t, plus t squared, plus 12t, plus 4, subtract 4t, equals 0. Okay, now let's collect like terms. We've got t squared here, another t squared here, so we've got two t squareds. We've got a negative t cubed here, that's the only one. So we've got a negative t cubed. Then we've got ourselves a, a negative t, a negative 4t, and a plus 12t. So in total there, we've got ourselves plus 7t. And we've got plus 4 is equal to 0. And we can uh, multiply everything by minus 1, so the power of t cubed is, is so, so the sign of t cubed is positive. We can write that as t cubed minus 2t squared minus 7t minus 4 equals 0. Now, we know, think about this now, we know that one of the things that is true, t is minus 1, at, t is equal to negative 1 at one of these points. Okay, t is equal to negative 1. So t equals negative 1 is a root. So t plus 1 is a factor. So we could factorise out t plus 1. Okay, what needs to go here to get a t cubed or t squared? That creates me a plus t squared, but I want negative 3t squared, so I need a negative 3t here, which corrects that, which creates negative 3t, but I want negative 7t, so I take off a 4, and that times that gives me the negative 4 I'm after. So now we can factorise even more. This would be t subtract 4, uh, t plus 1. Okay, so therefore t is negative 1, I knew this solution, I, that's p, point p, or t is equal to 4. Okay, and that's going to be at point q. And all we have to do at that point for t is 4 is substitute them into x and y and get our answers. So therefore x is 4 times 3, so the x coordinate is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12. 
and the y coordinate is 4 times 4 over 3, so it's going to be 4 times 4 over 1 subtract over negative 3, which is going to be negative 16 over 3. And that is point Q, and we're done.